but I knew she was a pass around. We done passed around, red nose. I can't be the clown, start the capping gown. Pussy ho, use a hand me down. You should lead a town, freak ho. You ain't need a clown, make her take a bow. Whoa, whoa. What's good, what's good, what's good? Welcome to Bully Block Boxing. Welcome to Bully Block Boxing. Welcome to Bully Block Boxing. You know what I'm saying? If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and consider donating to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Also, don't forget to hit that reminder bell so you can get all of our latest videos and shorts. What's good, what's good, what's good, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Shoot, it's been a minute since I made a video. You know what I mean? Had a couple things going on, you know what I'm saying? Had to get a little jizz eye, you know what I'm saying? Got me a little job at a little uh, heat treating company, you know what I'm saying? Basically working in a furnace. But, you know what I mean, it's good money, so, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, that's cool, that's cool, I'm still gonna try to get these YouTube videos out to y'all, though, you know what I mean, cause I, I, made, I made a promise to y'all, you know what I'm saying, so I'm gonna keep dropping gems, you know what I mean, I'm a guy that likes to talk about boxing, so let's talk about some boxing, you know what I'm saying, Dave Benavidez, man, man, he wasn't supposed to win that fight, man, did you know all this, all this stuff that came out about David and the fight, oh, man, he was, he was in a fight he was supposed to lose, you know what I'm saying? So now after man and after that performance, man, Canelo ain't trying to fight David. Canelo ain't never gonna fight David. And I even got a proof of that. And I'll show y'all later, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drop a couple clips on here, you know what I'm saying? Drop some jewels on y'all. You know what I mean? And we're gonna get it cracking, you know what I'm saying? And 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 David already got a three fight deal signed, you know what I'm saying? He trying to knock everybody out. He going for everybody. The Mexican monster back, you know what I'm saying? He coming. He coming for heads, you know what I'm saying? He going for everybody, so Canelo can't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? He, he trying to get the Canelo fight probably like in September. But I don't think Canelo going to fight him, though. You know what I'm saying? He got to deal with uh, uh, Dave Morrell. You know what I'm saying? He got to fight Morrell. Then he got to fight. Then he got to fight. Uh, then he got to fight. Uh, it's going to be. Like, it was, no, it was Plant first. Then it's Morrell. Then it's uh, Boo Boo Andre. You know what I'm saying? Then after that he might even fight Charlo, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, then he then he might get the uh, then he might get the Canelo fight. But anyways, man, Caleb Plant did everything he could to win that fight. You know what I'm saying? He did everything he could to win that fight. You know what I mean? Like like like, and you gotta give him props too. He went out on his shield. You know what I'm saying? Straight G. You know what I'm saying? Like he boxed and he did everything he had to do. But in that 11th, 10th, 11th round, you know what I'm saying? He said, he said, man, if they, I don't do something, dude gonna kill me. So it was a fight for his life. I don't know if y'all know, y'all really know about boxing like that. But dude was in there fighting for his life. You know what I'm saying? He was about to get killed. David was gonna kill him. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't stopping. You know what I'm saying? And he should have got the stoppage. They should have stopped that fight. You know what I'm saying? Everybody saying, oh, Canelo knocked him out, and David didn't knock him out. No, David. David David hurt him. David didn't want to knock him out. David wanted to punish him and wanted to hurt him. And that's what he did. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't going in there for the one shot knockout. He was going in there to hurt him, punish him. You know what I'm saying? To, to beat him up. You know what I'm saying? What's funny though, I, I think about it, you know what I'm saying? I always think about stuff in like in like hood terms, you know what I'm saying? So so basically, David uh, basically what happened was David jumped Caleb into the hood. You know what I'm saying? He just got put into the hood. You know what I'm saying? Cause we he was questionable and he talks a lot, you know what I mean? So and you know what I mean, we didn't know. You didn't even know if he had the goods or not, you know what I'm saying? But now much respect. You know what I'm saying? Beef is squash. You know what I'm saying? You in the hood now. You know what I'm saying? You up there with all the elites now. You know what I'm saying? You got chin. You got power. You know what I'm saying? You got you got resistance. You got you punch resistance. You know what I'm saying? All that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You good to go. You know what I mean? Stamina. Yeah, you know what I mean? I ain't really gonna go go there with the stamina because, you know what I'm saying, when you got a guy on you, on you, on you like that, that's gonna drain you, the stamina, the crowd, all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure his stamina was, was probably, you know what I mean, okay, but he do, he do be, uh, anyways, you know what I'm saying, stupid ass game, man. But anyways, uh, so yeah, stamina, you know what I'm saying, I don't know about all that, like, you might need to work on that, you know what I'm saying, try to figure out how to be smarter and trying to conserve his energy, because, when you fighting like that, you know what I'm saying, and you fighting super hard like that, you know what I'm saying, like, man, you're going you're gonna to use a lot of energy. So that being said, you know what I'm saying, we're going to throw a couple clips on here, you know what I'm saying, Canelo don't want to fight, don't want to fight Benavidez, and Benavidez could beat Canelo, so check this out. Here with a special guest, the champion, Mr. Benavidez. Everybody's talking about you, man. There's only one guy at that weight that can get an upset against Canelo, and that's a young man named David Benavides. I, I had him in camp sparring with Golovkin, or moving with Golovkin, I should say, at a very young age. I won't say how old, but he was very young. Um, and it's probably the best sparring I ever had up there in Big Bear for Golovkin. It was easy for him. Uh, I'm not going to say he banged anybody, but it wasn't like he was getting uh, outclassed. So if he's doing that back then, he's a much better fighter today. Move, 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 move. 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 Move.
it's over. It's over. That's it. No, no, come on, come on, come on. That's it. That's it, brother. No, 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 no. First of all, I just, I just want to thank you, Mike. You know, I've been a fan of you since I was a little kid. How many amateur fights you had? I, I didn't have too much amateur fights. I only yeah. had 15 amateur yeah. fights. How you think you do that guy plant that? Um, beat his ass. You know, that's the fight I've been wanting for a lot, a long time, man. You know, he talks a lot. Your Twitter notifications yet, but he did uh, put out a tweet today. Let's show you what he said as he was watching you fight. This is the something something who's supposed to beat me up. Yeah, I'm, uh, face. this guy just tweets every day. You know, he's like a woman, a woman on Twitter. You know, what I mean, I don't, I don't pay too much attention to that. I'll try you not know? to take offense to that, David, but okay. <laughs> A lot of people outside the ring, they talk like they're killers, but they get in the ring, they're not killers. Yeah, you know I me. Agree. I agree 100%. I'm in the ring. I don't got to act like I'm a killer outside the ring, but everybody knows what it is when I'm in the ring. You know what I mean? So, But these guys, like, that's exactly the point. These guys are, you know, no, not disrespect the guys, but they're not even. That's how That's how we go about that. I tell you what, man. His brother, Junior, his his brother. He's lethal. How big is your brother? He fights at 147. His last fight was against Terrence Crawford. It was a great fight. You know, unfortunately, he uh, he didn't win the fight. Good exchange. Best in the world. At home. Is he the finisher they all expect him to be? He is. What a What's your predictions with Caleb Plant and Canelo? Like I said, man. The type of people that could actually give Canelo problems are the ones that got power and the ones that will actually yeah. sit there and fight, not the ones that are going to try to run around and make it to the 12th round. You have to actually sit there and fight, and you got to go through hell. It took him till the 11th to land the perfect one, even though he, and uh, it was the power of Alvarez late in the fight that did it. Carry his punch all the way to 11, 12 round. Most people, when you do that fancy stuff, these guys stop punching. He's gonna keep punching. Man, hit him in the back. He's gonna hit him in the hip. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, you what, Mike, he think that's... he's protecting his body and his hip by all that fancy movement. He gonna get hit in his fucking hip and his ass. Strius uh... career. There's oh. Canelo with a lead, a clubbing left hand and a jab from wow. Canelo. And I got like a, a, my arm is killing me actually, my left arm. I, don't, I think if we didn't bump arms, I really could have pressed the attack later in a fighting. All right, so so the things that things that Plant did to ensure his victory, you know what I'm saying? He put in a lot of a lot of things in there, you know what I'm saying? Just like the Tank and Ryan fighting, you know what I'm saying? It's this boxing, you know what I'm saying? So one of them, he's, he wanted a bigger ring, you know what I'm saying? Because he knew Benavidez was going to be on him, then he wanted he was going to try to outbox him, so he wanted a bigger ring. Second thing is he wanted the ref being Kenny Bayless, because they know how Kenny Bayless reps, you know what I'm saying? That's why Floyd always picks Kenny Bayless, you know what I'm saying? Because Kenny Bayless, he just reps the way he reps, you know what I'm saying? Like... Like he, he misses a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? He he, ca he calls a lot of stuff and breaks the fight up for no reason. A lot of times, apparently, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right when the fight get going, he want to get in there. Like, he's just too involved in the fight. He need to just mind his own business, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? And just get in there when he needs to. But, you know what I'm saying? A lot of different things. He let he let Caleb hold a lot, you know what I'm saying? He from Vegas, Caleb from Vegas, you know what I'm saying? You know, they kind of had, like, you know what I mean? They, like, they got a little love for each other or whatever, you know what I mean? I don't know, but, you know what I'm saying? He saved Caleb a lot of times in that fight, you know what I'm saying? What else? Uh, just Caleb tried to use that mental stuff on him, saying he wasn't uh, he wasn't uh, dedicated to the sport. You know what I'm saying? He was a fat boy. You know what I'm saying? He lost two of his belts. You know what I'm saying? Due to uh, to failing drug drug tests or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. Uh, what else? Plant came in there with a big old beard. You know what I'm saying? He told he told uh, he told uh, Benavidez he couldn't have no braids, and Benavidez said, "Okay, if I can't have braids, then you cut off your beard." You know what I'm saying? Because that beard is like a big old cushion. You know what I'm saying? He might as well had a big ass pillow on his chin. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to cushion those punches. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? He had the beard and just a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of things going. Benavidez wasn't supposed to win that fight. Benavidez was fighting Plant and he was fighting the referee. You know what I'm saying? He was getting jumped, but he used to getting jumped, you know what I'm saying? Because he's from the hood, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So so that being said, you know what I'm saying? Plant did everything he could to win the fight. Benavidez, even with all that, still won the fight. You know what I'm saying? So that just shows Benavidez is, is special, you know what I'm saying? He's a beast, you know what I'm saying? He's a monster, you know what I'm saying? And Canelo knows that, and Canelo knows everything that happened in that fight, and Canelo knows that, you know what I'm saying, 
he, he, can't, he, can't, he can't beat David. You know what I'm saying? He can't beat David because David knows how to beat Canelo. David knows what to do, and Canelo knows that David knows what to do. You know what I'm saying? Not only to beat him, but to punish him and hurt him and beat him up. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not going to be nice whenever, you know what I'm saying? If it does happen, I think it should. I think Canelo should fight David, just get it over with, you know what I'm saying? Pass the torch, and then just, you know what I'm saying? Just call it, call it a day. You know what I mean? You're a legend. You're great. You did great things in the sport. You know what I'm saying? But you've been in a, hot, a lot of hard fights. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody got to hang up the gloves sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? You got two losses. You know what I mean? Make it three and just call it a day. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? That being said, uh, we going we gonna to say a little prayer real quick for all, all, the, all the boxing fans. All the boxing fans that don't know nothing about boxing. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Because he helped Joshua fight the battle of Jericho. Yes. He helped Daniel get out the lion's den. He helped Gilligan get off the island. Lord. All right. Prayer being said, you know what I'm saying? Amen. You know what I mean? Now, let's go from there. Now, proof. Caleb Canelo will never fight Benavidez. Check this out. This is what Canelo just said uh, yesterday in the interview, you know what I'm saying, on Fight Hype. You know what I'm saying? This is what he said. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said uh, it's different. It's different. Check this out. Canelo, how'd you see the Benavidez fight? Good. What's a good fight? Uh, like, I expect. Mm, um, how's his performance? He's good. Good, good. good performance. I think Caleb Pan did a really good fight. Uh, at the beginning, and then what I expect, no? At the end of the fight, uh, uh, Benavides won the fight. How would you compare it to your performance over Caleb Plant? Huh? Your performance over Caleb Plant? No, Plan? it's, it's different. You know, uh, style makes make fight. So it's, it's very different when you fight with uh, uh, a fighter and then other fighter fight a fighter. So you can not call him and the other no, then it's, 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 it's different. After the fight, he said he earned the right to fight you. If he hasn't yet, what does he have to do to earn the right to fight you? Uh, look, um, I don't I don't say no to any fight, no. But I, I have goals this year, and then we'll see. All right, y'all seen that, you know what I'm saying? He said, he said, he said, what he said, he said it's different, because I ain't got it right here, you know what I'm saying? So he said it's different, and then I think I remember he said, uh, we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man, come on, man. That's like, you know what I'm saying? You When your kids ask you, you know what I'm saying, can I get an ice cream or something from the store? And you're just like, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just, it's up in the air, you know what I'm saying? Most likely, probably not, you know what I'm saying? Because you need to eat dinner. But whatever, you know what I'm saying? We'll see is never, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, that being said, Okay, okay, now that being said, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to just be over here just being a bit as biased, you know what I'm saying, I know it look like I'm on the bandwagon being a bit as, but I'm not on no bandwagon, I'm just 100, I'm going to keep 100, you know what I'm saying, always, you know what I'm saying, if I think something, then that's just how I'm going to say it, and that's how I'm going to keep it, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to switch it up later and say, oh, no, nah, well, well, I said that. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, Sean Porter, he said he was going for Plant. He thought Plant was going to win. He was going to outbox him. And then he said, yeah, but I also tweeted that uh, if, if, if he couldn't outbox him, that Benavidez was going to catch up to him and, and might win the fight. Man, get out of here. You too wishy-washy. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Could you try to straddle the fence. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Shoot. You know what I'm saying? You scared of the secret society of boxing? Come on, man. Get out of here, man. Anyways, that said, boxing's back, baby. Greatest fights going down this year, you know what I'm saying? Oh, April 22nd. Yeah, Tank versus Ryan. Oh, great fight. I got to do a video on that one, too, because I'm going to tell you exactly how Tank going to knock Ryan out. But anyways, back to what we were talking about. Uh, what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, so now let's check this out. Canelo. Canelo will confirm what I've been saying. And when we keep asking about Benavides, do you yeah, feel it all like, you know, no mama's way? Like, you know, what do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Or you like it, you like he's, it. He's, he's a good fighter. But I like, uh, I say to to, to him, uh, everybody say the same thing when I fought, when I, before I fought with Golovkin. No, he's a monster. He's going to knock out Canelo. He's this and that. At the end of the day, it's not the same uh, uh, being in the ring with other fighters, like being in the ring with me. It's different. It sounds like you're starting to like the challenge though, like it's starting to get the fire lit. I like lit. challenge, I like challenge, but I have a goal this year Canelo, in my career, right? So, so we'll get it next year. And it's a, it's a really hard uh, fight for me, like a fight, but uh, look, I like that kind of challenge. And I've been in the ring a lot of years with a lot of hard fights, I mean, but if you can't say, oh, Benavides, Benavides is a good fight, it's a good fighter, but I mean, man, 
I've been in the ring in a hard fight with every single good fighter there, so... Are you Alright, so you just seen the video, you just seen what Canelo said, you know what I'm saying? He didn't, he, he tried to word it different, you know what I'm saying? He said that he will fight him because he's been in a lot of tough fights, so he ain't scared of him, but, he, but he's been in a lot of tough fights, so, so he will fight him. Kinda, he kinda was saying that, but I read between the lines and what I got from that was, I've been in a lot of tough fights. I've been in there with the best and I've been in a lot of tough fights. You know what I'm saying? So basically, there's no need for me to go in there and fight this young, hungry bull. You know what I'm saying? When I've been in there with the best and the elites and you know what I'm saying? And the Gennadis and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's going to happen. It ain't going to happen. If it does happen, then it's just going to be just a just a, a farewell fight. You know what I'm saying? Passing of the torch. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. You know what I mean? Like the, like the Chavez and... Uh, Chavez and, uh, what was it? Chavez and, uh, Chavez and, uh, De La Hoya fight. You know what I mean? Just passing out the torch. You know what I'm saying? This, this kind of cool, huh? How they do it, like, because it was like Chavez and it was De La Hoya. The, you know what I mean? Then De La Hoya had to pass the torch to, uh, Canelo. And then Canelo, you know what I mean? He the man now, but now he gonna have to pass the torch to, uh, to David. You know what I'm saying? So, man, yeah, man. It's going down. It's going down. But anyways, only way, uh, David gonna get this fight with Canelo is if he do this. Check this out. Now I am the number one contender. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever he want to call himself, ducking me. All right, I'm tired of man driving around town in eight Rolls Royces. He ain't fought nobody. I'm still in a bro hand. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's that's what that's what that's what he gonna have to do. He got to follow Canelo around everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Be up in his face. You know what I'm saying? And just be getting on his head. You know what I'm saying? He might even have to do this. Check this out. This this Riley from the Boondocks. You know what I'm saying? Holding a nine. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. You know what I'm saying? But right here on my neck, I got Riley from the Boondocks. You know what I'm saying? Little gangster holding a nine. Check this out. He might have to pull little Riley on him. Check this out. Look, fuck you. Fuck the plane you flew in on. Fuck them shoes. Fuck those socks with the bell on it. Fuck your gay ass fairy faggot accent. Fuck them cheap ass cigars. Fuck your yuck mouth teeth. Fuck your hair piece. Fuck your chocolate. Fuck Guy Ritchie. Fuck Prince William. Fuck the Queen. This is America. My president is black and my Lambo is blue, nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. Still rolling from that one. Oh man. And if I see you in the streets, I'm gonna smack the shit out you. Ah! Yeah, he gonna have to get on Canelo's head. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? With that being said, you know what I'm saying? You, you see where I'm going with this. You know what I'm saying? Canelo is never gonna fight David. And if he does, it's gonna be a passing of the torch. It's, never, it's not gonna be no real fight. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all better look past that, that, you know what I'm saying, and try to figure out like what, what's gonna what's gonna be another another good real big fight you know what i mean because 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 david coming you know what i'm saying he want he trying to take all comers you know what i mean he like he like a tank you know what i mean he don't he don't care you know what i'm saying he in this to win this and he don't care and he don't think nobody could beat him you know what i'm saying Shakur, same thing you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying with that being said you know what i'm saying i think i covered all my bases Shout out to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. Shout out to H Money Boxing. Shout out to all the hardcore boxing fans, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to all the casual fans, you know what I'm saying? Bully Block Boxing. Welcome to the channel. I'm out.